Born on June 21, 1859 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Henry Asawatana would go on to become the most distinguished African-American artist of the 19th century and the first of his race to achieve international acclaim. In 1880, Henry enrolled at the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts, studying under Thomas Eakins, a famous teacher who had a profound impact on Tanner's life and work. His artistic achievements eventually brought him to Europe, and during World War I, Henry began painting for the Red Cross. At the request of the Red Cross Bureau of Photography, he received permission from the Army's Photographic Censorship Office to, quote, make sketches of ARC work in the region of Neuf Chateau. Many of Henry's images from the front lines featured African-American troops during the war. He was able to keep a unique record of Red Cross involvement in World War I through his paintings. For the rest of his life, Henry received praise and honors for his work, receiving the Knight of Legion of Honor Medal. In 1996, the White House acquired Sand Dunes at Sunset, Atlantic City, making Henry the first African-American artist to be included in its permanent collection. As the daughter of a military veteran, I find myself incredibly moved by Henry Oswald Tanner's unique ability to bring African-American history to life through his illustrations, especially his works depicting World War I soldiers, honoring their courage and selflessness. His paintings allow us to visualize the story of his time and show us the undeniable truths of the African-American experience. I believe Henry's artwork not only helps us to better understand and appreciate our history, but also inspires us to continue making contributions within our own communities today, especially through our work of public service in the American Red Cross.